We're back. So ladies and gentlemen, as I was telling you before, we are getting ready for our up and coming gig this Friday, June 30th in Beverly Hills with Modern Day Wife. And I am here with an extraordinary woman, Miss Amy Schneider. And she is a stylist, a boutique owner. And one of the things that I find fascinating because we're getting more and more into the wedding season, um, oftentimes you guys, our readers, don't quite understand who's who in the space of the wedding professional. So Amy, I want you to tell our readers and viewers your full name and the your occupation and what is it that you do and please define it clearly for us. Absolutely. So my name is Amy Schneider and I'm a bridal stylist. So I own a bridal boutique. Uh, I also own a ladies fashion boutique that specializes in dresses. So we do a little bit of everything in that boutique, um, right from everyday dress wear to uh, mother of the bride, flower girls, prom, bridesmaids. So we can kind of out fit a woman in a dress for any event or a fancier outfit. It doesn't necessarily need to be a dress. But as a bridal stylist, what I would say my profession is and how I differ from walking into one of the larger salons where you're going to deal more with a sales associate. The difference is, is I like to really get to know my bride. One of the beautiful things in our world right now is you can kind of pull inspiration for you for your wedding from so many different places. We've got beautiful publications. We have Pinterest, we have Instagram. We have all of these gorgeous styled shoots appearing everywhere. And you can kind of get caught up in the styles that are in front of you. And one of the great things with that algorithm is that's what's gonna come up and come up and come up in front of you. And so you kind of get caught up in maybe a look that isn't quite timeless for you as a person. So I like to take a little bit of time to get to know my bride, get to know her day, how she envisions this whole thing playing out. So you get to know how she wants to look, but also how she wants to feel. And that can play a very big part in how you're going to dress her and how you kind of open the doors to maybe some different things that she wasn't quite expecting. And so I feel like it's a little bit more of a one-on-one -on -one personal experience where we're going to help her style not only her body and her coloring but how she wants to feel and how she wants to look for that event and it's not just the one day there's a whole bunch of other things that lead up to that so we can kind of create this cohesive look that's going to go through your bachelorette party your wedding shower your engagement shoot your rehearsal dinner the send-off the honeymoon all of those beautiful white looks um, we can kind of collaborate and come together and create all of that and I love my favorite part of it is when I get to include maybe an heirloom piece from mom or grandma and we pull a little bit of inspiration from that for a look so there's lots of different things but I just think that the stylist is somebody that you're going to work with that's going to work solely with you for your look. We're not after a sale. We're after um, creating an experience and a whole look versus just that one single moment where you're just shopping in a bridal store. A perfect explanation. And I hope everybody gets the gist of it because a personal shopper would just go shopping with you and, um, because that's what I went to school. I went to school for F at FIT. And one of the things that we learned was image consulting, personal shopping. And I never heard of one for the bridal industry. And it makes so much sense because this is a dress, a girl, you've never worn it before. You don't know what to look for. You, We see it in magazines, but is it going to look good on me? Absolutely. We have you as an expert that has mastered and taking in all sorts of bridal fashion, you are in the best position to advise me and guide me through the process of finding the perfect dress for me, my body, and the occasion. Yes, absolutely. So now, how does one find you? Like, where? first of all, where are you based? So I'm in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. 
Canada. It's a mouthful. Um, so it's a little prairie city. So basically central Canada. So my boutique is there. Obviously, if you want to come and see me in my boutique, I would love that. Um, so my boutique is called Unveiled Dress Co. And so it's unveileddress.com. And you can kind of see all of our appointment styles and such there. But on Instagram is the best way to find me as a stylist. And I'm happy to work um, over video with you through appointments over video, even if it's just to give you a little bit of guidance, maybe to hone in on the style that you're looking for. Um, so if you are from further away, and we can't actually meet in person, um, my Instagram handle is amy.thestylist and Amy is spelled A-I-M-E-E. -E. Fantastic. So now, is there a separate fee for your service? And that of me spending my dress or when I buy my dress, you come with it. Please educate people because I promise you somebody's going to have their own mindset on that. Absolutely. And so every boutique's going to off like <coughs> operate a little bit differently. And so I do charge an appointment fee to visit me. And so you get the whole space. It's a private experience. Um, so that fee is sort of my fee as well as the fee for the um, space that you're sort of booking. And then if you purchase a dress, you get your fee back. So there isn't a fee. If I'm doing some outside consulting, um, depending on how in depth and what we're doing, there is a fee for that as well. So it's kind of like an a la carte menu and, and we can kind of work within your budget to sort of decide how that looks and, and what you're looking to kind of get out of the whole experience. Fantastic. And so now do you, do you, when, when I make the appointment with you, are you going to go with me shopping? Are you going to um, take me to the store? Of course, you have your own store. Am I allowed to try on the dresses? What's the process of it? I have yeah. you. What am I doing? Absolutely. So I book an experience at my store. So I am the only bridal consultant. So it's a little solo gig. So I'm a one woman show up here. Um, so when you do book an appointment with my store, you're going to get me and we take it. It's two hours. I like to kind of give you that freedom, that space to like be in that dress because usually you're going to wear it for, you know, it's like it could be a 12 hour day. So I want you to be comfortable. So you get two hours champagne experience and we're going to kind of work through some different styles. We're going to try on some different dresses. Um, move through that. We're going to style it with accessories. I also do separate styling um, appointments for accessories. So if you didn't purchase your dress through my boutique, you're welcome to bring the dress in and we'll style it with accessories as well. So two different um, experiences there. So yes, if you are booking with my boutique, you're going to have me style you. Um, if you wanted me to come with you, obviously location dependent, we can kind of make that work. And that would be something that we would book separately you know, if you wanted me to come down to to where you are living, um, I can do that as well. So, so you're not limited to just the Canada area. You're you're willing to travel wherever this bride. Absolutely. Is. Okay, fantastic. So now, um, do you are you are you going to get me dresses that I'm I've never seen before? What is it? Why are you worth it? I just want to know why you're worth it. I know why I you're think, worth it. Tell them why you're I worth it. I think the difference for me and that I've I've heard it from a lot of my brides is that it it is that moment where I get to know the client. And so I take that first 20 minutes of the appointment to really like chat with you and hone in on you and get to know a lot about you. Because again, we can kind of get into this like rhythm of I want a lace fit and flare dress because that's what I've seen on Pinterest and that's what I tried on at the first four boutiques and it's like well you've gone to four boutiques and you haven't said yes to the dress yet so why what is it what door haven't we opened what haven't we explored that is gonna kind of make that moment happen for you and so I think it's just that getting to know the woman and not just the bride because I think like you are going to be a bride, but you aren't just a bride. And so we need to sort of open that door and feel that out. And so I think that's what makes it a little bit different for me. Um, I really like unique pieces when it comes to wedding dresses. So I would say our collection in the store does differ from the other dr um, dress shops in our neck of the woods, just because the unique pieces kind of speak to personality. And I think that that's what makes 
us unique in our area. Um, can I speak to the other dress stores in the world? No. Um, but yes, I, I do think that I carry dresses that are going to be different and they're going to kind of give you that wow factor. And can you tell us some of the designers that you carry or is it custom pieces and are, do you have the capability to create something custom for a bride? Absolutely. So um, we do carry designer labels. So Kella Blanche is one of my favorites. So she's a Canadian gal. She's got a couple of different lines within her collection and we do carry them all. So Kella Blanche is more of her atelier, avant-garde, uh, really beautiful, really unique pieces. Then she's got her L'Amour label, which is very wearable, um, a little bit more traditional. And then she has her La Pearl, which kind of has that bohemian flair. There's a little bit of that Western in there, which we get a lot of here. Um, I have Michaela and Paloma Blanca, which is a their sister companies, again, a Canadian designer. Um, they have like a beautiful, elegant simplicity. I do a lot of custom dresses with both of those designers. And so they give me the freedom to sort of play and open doors there. And so, and I've been working with both of those designers for 10 years and done lots of customs. So yes, we have the ability to sort of create and have a little bit of freedom. Um, and then we carry Justin Alexander collections. And I love the Justin Alexander collections because he's got a little bit of everything uh, through his brand that speaks to kind of that really classic look. Um, so you're going to get something really timeless from his collections as well. Or edgy, because I just love everything about him, you know. Oh. One season he did this jumpsuit that whether you're getting married or not, you still want to be in that white Just jumpsuit was just fantastic. You know? Yeah pretty fantastic you know you're working with some big hitters huh yes <laughs> so thank you so much for your time I'm gonna need you to please give us your social media handle oh you know what I didn't ask you I want to I do not want to get away from this how did you meet you know the ladies Megan and Megan for modern day wife, how did you and why was this partnership, this collaboration, so important? I it's serendipity. Everything in my path, like to bridal, has been like a serendipitous, beautiful, whimsical moment. Um, actually, she, one of the Megans, reached out just on social media for my little dress store, like my ladies' clothing store, and was like, "Hey." Because we have um, a specialty niche for white dresses in the clothing store, she was just like, I think that you would be so perfect for our white event that we're hosting at the end of June. And I was like, oh, my gosh, like, I didn't even know who they were. So then I started digging and I'm like, how amazing. This is so exciting. And then it all just started to kind of fall in place. And it was just like one thing after another. And I was like, you don't have to ask me twice to go to Beverly Hills. Like, <laughs> let's be real. This little Canadian prairie girl is pretty excited to head down to California. I love it. I love it. They're such wonderful women. And they have such ugh, fire. And my... It has been a whirlwind month. Yeah. Like... It, it, and just, just, I love their excitement for bringing women together. Yes. Celebrating each other. And all our individual successes as a as a unit, you know. Um, and I think for me, that was the most important thing in collaborating with them and becoming their media partner. I wanted to support all these fantastic women from all parts of the world who just complement each other, and we're not catty about it. There's no envy. It's just like, oh my God, how can I celebrate you? Oh, that's great. I want to be a part of this because I feel like one person inspires the next and the other person inspires the other. So, you know, I'm excited to be in the same room with you guys and to share all your stories to our readers. Oh, I'm, I'm just so excited. It's going to be just like the energy in the room is going to be so unreal. I love it. I'm excited. 
So now you can give us your contact okay. information. <laughs> okay. So Instagram's probably the easiest. There's Linktree on there. So you can kind of find all of the websites. So obviously there's three Instagram handles. So shop at shop the dress co for the clothing store and you can shop and we'll ship anywhere um at unveiled dress co for the bridal boutique and then at amy a-i-m-e-e -E dot the stylist for me fantastic well it's an honor and it's a pleasure i can't wait to meet you on friday this is going to be epic just yeah. all this international success of women sisterhood coming together so Incredible. On your amazing um, businesses. And Thank you. I can't wait till our brides um, come and visit you. <laughs> yeah. Come to my little prairie town. Yes, we will. <laughs> Thank so you. Guys, there's Amy. Amy, you guys have to go check her out. Please support her. You know, I know you know somebody that's getting married. Just refer Amy and let's see what's going on. So until Friday, ciao Bella.